Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm super excited. Um, this is my very first pair of shoes from American Duchess. So as you can see, I have not opened the box yet. Uh, I literally just got this in the mail and I can't wait to open it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. This is pretty much going to be my reaction to my very first pair of American Duchess shoes. Uh, I also ordered some other stuff uh, uh, as well. I ordered some other shoe care products. I am expecting a pair of Bernadette's, uh, hopefully soon-ish. Um, so I got those during the pre-order, but because I am very impatient, I couldn't wait. So I went ahead and I ordered a pair of their winter boots. So, so I've been literally been watching my email for a couple days now uh, to see, you know, tracking where it is and everything. So, important stuff that uh, you don't need to know. <sighs> oh no, I can't get it out of the box. Oh, this is so sad. this whenever it was nice and neat and out of the box and everything but okay so this is just a little card that they include on how to care for your shoes so I got their mink oil uh, this will help keep the soles of the shoes um, basically nice and moisturized waterproof since leather is basically skin, you want to keep it as moisturized as you possibly can, like our own skin. You want to keep it nice and moisturized. So I got the Neutral Luster Cream. Uh, since the Bernadettes are two-toned, um, they recommended that the uh, Neutral Luster Cream works best uh, for kind of the, the two-toned shoes if you don't want to you know, specifically dye your shoes. Um, I will link in the description uh, a video that American Dutch just put out that has all of this, um, you know, all of their two care products and how to use them. So, all right, I also got their Easy Cleaner. Um, I plan on using this on all of my shoes, so. And I also got their Suede and Nubuck kit. Um, I have a lot of suede shoes that aren't necessarily American Duchess that I plan on using this on, but then the boots that I got are suede, so I definitely need to make sure that I take care of those. Alright, last but certainly not least, they're so gorgeous. So I bought their brown uh, Alpen booties, um, and these are on sale as of me filming this in uh, late October. Uh, they're on sale because this particular color, um, they're listed as imperfect. So there might be like a little scuff on there that, you know, there's nothing wrong with the actual structure of the shoe. There's just like a little scuff or something, which honestly, I don't care. So, oh, these are so pretty. And so far, I don't see anything wrong with these boots. Um, So they've got the lambs 
wool there, which is super soft. It's gonna be super warm. And again, I'm not really, I'm not noticing any like major imperfections. Um, you know, if, if it hadn't have said imperfect on the, <laughs> I'm so excited about these boots. I can't talk right now. Um, but if it hadn't have said imperfect on the website, I would have looked at these and thought there's nothing wrong with them. Um, so, all right. And then they also sent oops, uh, some replacement uh, heel, um, heel guards, I guess. So the black part on the bottom of the heel, they sent some replacements for that. Um, so one of the reasons why I ordered these, I live in West Virginia and we get snow. And if we don't get snow, we get ice. So I thought these would be perfect um, just to wear out and about. Uh, they aren't, you know, heavy winter boots. I've got a pair of like the heavy winter boots for whenever I go sled riding. But um, I figured these would be nice. They've got a nice rubber sole on the bottom. Um, so I don't maybe I don't slide around um, we'll see so I'm so excited for these okay so I need to go try these on real quick because I'm that person so I'll be right back all right here they are um, right now I've just got some blue jeans on but as you can see they even look great with jeans so let me go ahead and pull you up really here so you can see them. Uh, so right now I've just got uh, some thin stockings on. These are actually Gryffindor stockings because I'm that kid. Um, but uh, now I ordered the size seven and a half because that's my normal shoe size. So, um, I would definitely say if you like wearing thicker socks, um, which with these, I don't think you're going to need thicker socks. Uh, these are lined with a houndstooth wool. You can see there on the inside. So these are actually quite warm. Um, but yeah, if you do want to wear thicker socks, I would definitely recommend ordering like half a size up. Uh, so if I wanted to wear thicker socks I'd order an I would order an eight rather than a seven and a half um but other than that oh my gosh I'm just so excited um so even though it is the end of October it's like 80 degrees outside right now so probably not the best idea to wear these um for too long right now but I definitely can't wait to start wearing these all the time. So I am so happy with these shoes. Um, I, I've heard a lot of good reviews about Mer American Duchess, which is why I felt okay uh, spending this amount of money on shoes. Um, I've heard that as long as you take care of them, they will last and last and last. And just looking at these shoes, you know, putting them on my feet, turning them over in my hands and looking at them, I definitely believe that, yeah, these, these shoes are going to last me a very long time. Um, so, yeah, even though these are my first pair, I would definitely recommend, uh, American Duchess to everybody. Let me kind of zoom in there. Oh, look at those. They're gorgeous. Okay. So, like I said, this video is a little bit different, but I just had to show these off. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Ah! If you guys can't tell. 
So thanks for putting up with my very excited dorkiness. Um, and hey, it's okay to geek out over shoes. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise, um, especially this year. All right, so with that, um, once again, thanks guys for sticking around. Um, stay safe, mask up, and don't forget, find joy in what you can. Don't let anybody tell you that it's stupid or it's dorky or whatever. We got to find what joy we can find this year. So, you know, you do you, you do what makes you happy, whether that's shoes or whatever. So thanks for sticking around, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.